From historic pictures, paperwork, and full-size railway equipment, we're here checking out all that's new at the Niagara Railway Museum. The Niagara Railway Museum was founded in 1997 by myself and along with some of my family and friends and we're celebrating our 20th anniversary this year in 2017. Uh, we've come a long way since then. We're actually been in this home for seven years now I believe it is and it doesn't look like a lot sometimes but we've really expanded the location and been able to grow here and turn, in, turn a, an unused building into something that we can, we're, we're quite happy with. Tell us a little bit about what's on display here. What can visitors come out and see? When visitors come out, we have two uh, railway boxcars, 40-foot boxcars that have our different, uh, a lot of our artifacts. Not all of them. We don't have everything out. We do have a lot of, uh, we do focus on the Niagara region, of course. Uh, Fort Erie being the locomotive shop, which is what we're in now. Uh, right down to the Niagara St. Catharines Toronto, the electric railways that are connected uh, lake to lake and down to Niagara Falls and St. Catharines. Um, you also see steam, diesel, and electric locomotives. Uh, we do have a couple other cars, freight cars. The last uh, railway gondola from the THB and uh, snow flanger. It looks like a caboose, but that's another display car for us as well. So there's quite a bit of equipment. We're one of the largest equipment museums in, uh, in Ontario. And I know recently there have been some changes, some additions. Can you tell us a little bit about those? Just over about a month and a half ago, we moved the THMV, the Toronto Hamilton, Hamilton and Buffalo Railway gondola on site. Um, we've just uh, been doing some cosmetic re uh, restoration on our steam locomotive, which has been a very big, uh, big amount of progress for us as it's coming up to its 100th anniversary in 2020. And we're just painting, restoration, whatever we can do with our workforce to, to make things uh, look decent, look better and preserve them for the future. Through an ever-expanding collection of railway artifacts, the goal of the museum is to preserve and display the railway history of the Niagara region. History in general, it doesn't matter one of the, what it is, whether it's railway, whether it's structural, it, it doesn't matter. History in general is, is largely being pushed aside these days. We lose a lot of heritage structures, a lot of, uh, we've lost a lot of railway equipment recently as well that we really like to have in our area that does have a tie. I've always been fascinated with Niagara's history, not just you know the railway side, but being from Niagara Falls, love the falls itself and the history that goes along with everything. And now in an age where everything's electronics, everything's video games, the history is being pushed aside. Well, how are people going to know 10 years from now what was actually in the area? Is, is the people that stick it out and do try to, to save these items? And I know you have your Rail Days coming up. Can you tell us a little bit about what that is? A rail Days is our third open house of the, of the year. It's the second weekend in September, the 9th and 10th this year. It's something I'm trying to rebrand as a bigger, uh, a bigger event other than just our open houses. We're getting a few model railway vendors in. We have, I think, six train layouts uh, in total coming in. That's a little more. We usually only have two. And uh, trying to get a couple extra displays in, it is only in its second year. We're slowly growing it. I'm already looking at new attractions for even next year over top of this year. So there will be a few different displays. Um, we only have two weeks to go, but we're still working on a couple of things. So hopefully the, the event will grow this year and continue to grow in the future. For more information on the upcoming Rail Days at the Niagara Railway Museum, visit nfrm.ca. For The Source, I'm Melissa Andrade.